Hello and welcome. You're watching Metropole Business Center with me, Fred Makori. Today we have been discussing on the public debt issue and right now we are shifting gears and we are focusing on sports. Makali John, I hear Tasca have taken the Premier League. Yeah, that's actually our top story. Tasca yeah. have been crowned the champions of the FKF uh, Premier League. Yes. They will be taking home 5 million Kenyan shillings. Uh -huh. uh, though they are, they, the internet has been sent into a frenzy because you know you can compare the Kenyan League and the Ugan uh, Tanzanian League. Yes. For instance, uh, in Tanzania, Simba SC, uh, when they won the league, they received 23 million. But uh, in Kenya, when you compare, you know, things are not adding up. Yeah. So I don't know what's your take about that. <laughs> no, I, I really... I, I I think we are a messed up society. I am so sorry. We are a messed up society. It's just that any good thing, yeah. we take it and spoil it. That is the problem. And that is where our issues are. It is from governance all the way from the top to, yeah. to everywhere else in our systems. I, I, I think, I think the, the, the Kenyan football leadership it has just gone political. Yeah. And let's listen in to Robert Matano. He is the head coach of Tasca after winning uh, the FKF top tier. Safi, the king. The lion is the, the, the king of the jungle, still around. <laughs> so that this is with my lion. <laughs> Robert Matano, the head coach of Tasca, he says he's happy f uh, clinching the top tier uh, league and they will be representing the country in the CAF Champions League next season. Uh, they are set to recruit more players to boost their squad, uh, in which uh, they are expected to sign uh, Fred, that is uh, Elvis Rupia from FC Lopals, is among the top scorers in the league. Yes. He was able to score more than 18 goals, and most likely uh, Robert Matano is looking forward to uh, you know, getting more experienced players who will represent uh, Tasca in the Confederation Cup. We are used to having Gormahia, but this time around, it's things Tasca. have at least uh, change uh, it's Tasca we're going to represent now yeah. again you talked about you know uh, things uh, getting political in, yeah. in the, 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 the uh, football federation we had um, uh, Agre Orengo this is the senior council uh, he's been talking about uh, the president of FKF that is uh, yeah, Nick Mwendo. Mwendo about his leadership let's also get his insights about the federation our players who are being recruited in, in, in clubs in Europe and uh, even in the Near East. And football is a big industry, it's a world industry. It's bigger. FIFA, its budget is bigger than Kenya's. It's a big industry. And we cannot let it go down. Rachir, you have done us proud by building Gorba here, because Gorba here is a movement. Gorba here is a movement. Kenya Union has to go Gorma here, fine. In your local city, call fine. When you look at you can get a coat. Change this up. How can you find the government? You know, you're also a European national anthem, Gor Gorma. And you can get a coat next week. Yeah. Koro, I am saying this without fear of contradiction the current leadership in football is not doing us a good job. And on top of it, it was not just sentencing and convicting Gorbaya, even Ashemeji, AFC. Yeah. Now, if you're killing these two big clubs, why are you taking soccer in this country? So, Peter Kenneth, as we talk politics, you may need to sit with Ambrose and tell us what to do must go. in Kenyan football. Must go. In Kenyan football. Jaroma Roto Koro. Wherever I come out of the world, So that is one thing that I, I, I said I must say here because Rachel Ambrose is a leader, a great leader in football, and he has kept going. Leading a football club is not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. So the Mokino are in team, got a gift, Moko Moko, a team. Uh, <laughs> 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 
inyalo inyalo to record more men mopogre so football is very complicated to keep leadership in football like ambrose has for these many years is not easy hiyo ambayo ya mpira ameongea mimi na urengo sitaki tutupe wakati gor soja mwenyewe can handle mwendo we don't want to make it very serious huyu huyu on the street will handle huyo jamaa Eh hey, we don't need to make it so big eh. Eh hey, unajua kwa gorma hii amawe ni free ya kurusha kwa hivyo. Eh hey, unless somebody doesn't know what they are really saying. Fred senior counsel James Agree Orengo uh, they are speaking uh, in luo though I think I got a few things uh, he's saying that uh, you know the federation FKF led by uh, that is the president Nick Mwendwa they find FC Leopards together with Gor Mahia for skipping the Mashemeji derby uh, after they didn't receive their monies for the FA title I don't know what's your take about Agree you see <laughs> I think his is opinion is we went a bit emotional yeah. I, i thank peter kenneth for sobering the mood uh, right there by just saying you know leave these matters to the people who have been aggrieved they are able to handle themselves so uh, for me yeah Okay yeah. away from that Fred that this guy here Wanyonyi from Western Kenya he won the 10000 meter uh, walking race and uh, uh, in this edition of the World Under 20 Championship Kenya uh, actually bagged more than uh, actually 18 gold uh, medals we are talking of uh, around 8 uh, gold medals uh, two silver and uh, seven bronze medals we have gone a notch higher from 2018 uh-huh. in fin- Finland that was in Tampere where we uh, actually had a total of 11 uh, Go, uh, medals. Uh, we will have to listen in also to insights from Wanyonyi after clinching the 10,000 meters walking race. All right. Uh, most of the time my, my coaches encourage me uh, to take a race walking as a, any other event and take it seriously. Most of the time they told me to come to train in camps uh, where uh, my coach will stay in Jeshu, Waraka. Uh, mostly my parents, my father uh encourage me uh, to balance between education and talent uh and um, when i finish form for this year uh she organize uh, and i come for my camp where i meet my coach and give me some few uh i want to say in, uh, to this uh company like safaricom which uh, sponsor uh, uh this young talent is uh to give us a uh, like technical events like race walking uh, opportunity to sponsors so that uh, we can get the facility a good place for training because uh, where i come from we don't have a, a specific place for training we don't have a, a modern track for training this event Wanyonyi, the gold winner in the 10000 meter walking race is actually asking Fred for uh, Safaricom to also come on board for the young uh, developing talents in the country uh, to actually make sure that they nurture talent so that uh, you know every day tunasema hawa ndo mabalozi nambari moja wanawakilisha taifa so uh, he's asking uh, those uh, companies to come on board and try and help them yeah, you know nurture their talents we we'll take a look at the national team Marambe Stars they'll be facing their going to play their uh, qualifiers match against Rwanda and Uganda in September. Uh, we are hoping that Ghost Mule will uh, make us proud because th- we didn't make it to the African cu- uh, Cup of Nations that will be taking place in Cameroon, but this time round he has called a provisional squad of 36 players. Among them is the top scorer Eric Kapaito from the Kenya Premier League, also uh, Michael Olunga, but uh, someone who is missing in action is the captain Wanyama. Victor Wanyama will not be featuring in the squad. He has not been named in the provisional squad, so I don't know how it goes, but hopefully they make it to the World Cup 2022 that is in Qatar uh, in a few in like 12 months too. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks a lot Makali for just updating us on what's happening in the sports front. It's always a pleasure to have this discussion. I'm learning a thing or two 
as far as sports is concerned. <laughs> yeah, it's good yeah. too. It's, uh, it's actually a good way to soothe your okay, case. Exactly. Uh, tonight, yes. West Ham will be playing Leicester City from 10 p.m. in the English Premier League. Your team again, again Arsenal, the president of Rwanda, is still complaining about uh, their performance in the English Premier League and maybe soon yeah. they will draw their, their, their sponsorship, their sponsorship. From, Yeah. So. Now, I mean, you know, when you're sponsoring a team, it's not guaranteed that you will win. Yeah. It's just that it's for that exposure and supporting <laughs> that team. So Arsenal, too bad. Too bad for so, them. Thank you, Makali. That was it for us uh, on Business Center this Monday. Uh, thank you for keeping us company. Keep talking to us at Metropole TV KE across all social media platforms. And if you want to subscribe to our news alerts and so that you can be updated on what's happening, the number to send an SMS to 20146. 20146 is the number. Send your an SMS news to that number. Until next week, when we do this again, my name is Fred Makori.